Co-workers and community members gathered together for a candlelight vigil in honor of Ashley Brown, a 34-year-old pregnant woman who died in a car crash last week. The crash involved two vehicles, and all of that happened, uh, including a Columbia police patrol car. So WIS reporter Naomi Popa has more on the life and legacy Ashley Brown is leaving after speaking with her sister at tonight's vigil. She loved hard. She worked hard. Don't know she believed in her family. She stood for her family, Any idea? for her baby girl, for her mother, for her son, for all of us. Police say Ashley was killed in a car crash last week involving CPD officer Darian Davis. The investigation of the crash is still ongoing. I spoke with Shavetta Belton, who worked closely with Ashley for years. She tells me she was loved by all at the Paul Mitchell School. Ashley Brown was a sister, a friend, a confidant, um, and joy. Like, she brought us so much happiness. It, she has impacted all ages. You think about it, my, my 17, 18 year old, she looked out for. She looked out for us as her instructors. So Ashley has impacted all of our lives in such a major way. Belton told me many stories about Ashley, all of which highlighted the type of person she was. She says Ashley had fond memories of her dad who passed away in 2022. One memory Belton says she will never forget, when Ashley received the sonogram of her baby boy, she said Ashley could see her dad in his facial features. Belton says there was no greater joy than to witness Ashley's happiness in that very moment. Murdoch says her family plans to continue honoring Ashley's life. Healed you with her words, with her hands, with her smile, mm -hmm. <laughs> and with her heart. And Ashley, we just, we celebrate you. We celebrate your life, your legacy, your purpose. Yes. And baby, everything that you stood for and everything that you wanted to accomplish, we will continue as a family. The vigil ended with a balloon release to celebrate Ashley Brown's life. Naomi Popa, WIS News 10. Brown's viewing will be this Thursday. Her funeral will be Friday. You can find specific details about both online at WISTV.com.